What's going on people? My name's Drew and I watch movies entirely too much and here we are talking about another one, Girls Trip, directed by Malcolm D. Lee. Alright, keep up with me guys. Regina Hall plays Ryan, Tiffany Haddish plays Dina, Jada Pinkett Smith plays Lisa, and Queen Latifah plays Sasha. And these girls have been friends for basically their entire lives, from high school through all the way through college. They were the life of the party and you know everything was going great until they became adults as you do. And what comes with being an adult is everybody getting their own separate lives. Everybody having their own things going on and what tends to happen is friends just lose contact you just stop talking as much you stop hanging out as much and you just get wrapped up in whatever personal things you have going on so when Ryan gets a business opportunity to go to New Orleans he decides to invite the girls so here we are going on a girls trip so first of all, what took this review so long to come out is that I already recorded it <laughs> and I messed up the audio. I'm not good at this. I'm kind of just learning it on the fly. I'm experimenting a lot. And because of that experimenting, I actually forgot to save whatever I was doing. So that's why I have to record this again. And that's why it's taking so long. That's why a lot of videos take so long because I'm just trying to learn how to make the videos better. That's all. But yeah, the other thing that really took a while with this review is that I really don't know how to review it. i watched the movie like, three times now over these past two weeks i've watched this movie like three times preparing for this review for one but for two girl what is you doing what is you doing yeah i'm talking to you you just listen you gonna be in all my videos huh do we need to change the channel to drew and cali look she about to jump look ah <laughs> but I, I guess i just don't know how to tell you guys that the movie's funny. So I guess I'll just say it like that. Yeah, the, the movie's freaking hilarious. Of course, the, the main four girls, they're hilarious, dude. They're, they are just, they have so much chemistry that it's insane. From the very first moment that they're all together in the airport, all the way to the end of the movie, the chemistry is off the charts and they are firing on every single cylinder. I feel like this movie, while it is very, 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 very funny, it does have a lot of messages in it and it does have a lot of more dramatic scenes in it and I really feel like Regina Hall and Queen Latifah do a great job at handling those more down-to-earth more serious scenes not to say that they don't have their standout moments in terms of being hilarious because especially Regina Hall she has amazing timing <laughs> This is an underutilized utensil in the kitchen. Well, I am going to take this underutilized tool and I'm going to put it on this overutilized sausage. <laughs> <laughs> what does that look like hanging like that to you? <laughs> I don't know, but we gonna cut it off today. <laughs> and I don't really know that much about Queen Latifah. I mean, of course I know that she used to be a rapper and I, I've heard her music. It actually sounds really good. Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Can't go wrong. I feel strong and the flavor's good. I haven't really seen her a lot in terms of her movies, but here I thought she was off the charts and I thought her relationship with Regina Hall's character was great. Because basically what happened is that Sasha and Ryan were supposed to start a business together. They were supposed to start like this black publication business and then Ryan went off and got married and kind of left Sasha in the dust. So Sasha had to kind of just pick up this bullshit gig of just kind of posting celebrity gossip trash. You can tell she's not really gassed about having to do that, but she's kind of one of them girls that's like, hey, I'm just doing what I gotta do. And you can tell that Ryan just kind of moved on with her life and they never really discussed this. You can tell by just how awkward they're being with each other that, okay, there's something they need to talk about like right now. And the girls that see right through that bullshit are Tiffany Haddish and Jada Pinkett Smith. Well, life is treating you well. I see that. Please. I see you and Stu pop up on my feet once a week going to some fabulous event. I love nice your hair. hair. <laughs> it seems like they're getting along. Yeah. She. <laughs> These bitches is plastic. They absolutely crush it in terms of the comedic moments in the movie. Not to say that they're not good in the more emotional, dramatic moments. Everybody in this movie is killing it, honestly, in, in every single scene, but it's specifically in those more comedic standouts that I feel like Dina and Lisa are hilarious, dude. I got drugs in my booty. Oh, that's nasty. You know what? They can cause a lot of infection. Girl, you can't get no infection in your booty hole. It's a booty hole. Do you think this situation with Ryan and Sasha 
think it's still drama, or has it been long enough? It better be, because I plan on getting white girl wasted this weekend, and I ain't letting none of you bitches kill my vibe, OK? <laughs> That's hand sanitizer. It burns. <laughs> well, considering we don't know where your mouth has been, it can't hurt. Now, is the story, like, out of this world? Is this something that's going to, like, change the way you think about life? I don't think so, but it does have a good story. I'm not gonna say that, you know, there's nothing to this narrative because there is. I feel like one of the big messages is, you know how we code switch when we get around people like your boss or your family? You kind of talk different. You kind of behave different around certain people. People say I talk with a white voice anyway, so why ain't it helping me out? Well, you don't talk way to nothing. I'm not talking about Will Smith's wife. I'm talking about the real deal, like this young blood. Hey, Mr. Kramer, this is Langston from Regal View. I didn't catch you at the wrong time, did I? But when you get around your friends, it's really tough to keep up whatever that code switch is because you just can't really fake it in front of them because your friends know you better than anybody else could. But sometimes you need to just stop trying to be whoever you are whenever they're not around and just you know embrace being yourself more and i feel like your friends being around you definitely push you to do that to just embrace you know who you truly are rather than whoever you pretend to be did i explain that right did that make sense yeah i really i really don't know what else to say I, I just you know I, I'm sure there's gonna be more movies like this as we keep going down the list but I just love this movie I just love watching it I think it's just super entertaining it, it gets me emotionally towards the end I love the actors I love the characters I love the direction I love the needle drops I love the look of the movie it looks very good I will say this in terms of critiques I will say this I do think the movie is a tad long it's a couple hours and I don't really think it needed to be a couple hours Hours. Not that the movie ever gets like boring or anything like that. It's just that once you get towards the end, you start to feel the length of it. And I feel like comedies, I feel like the sweet spot for a comedy is probably about that 90 minutes, 100 minutes. So once you start getting to that second hour, you kind of start checking that watch like, all right, it's time to wrap it up, guys. Because, you know, like I said, there's not really that deep of a narrative going on. It's not really that complex. There's not a whole bunch of side plots going on. So it does start to run out of steam a little bit. But right when it starts to run out of steam, they start wrapping it up anyway so it, it's not even that big of a deal i did hear recently that they're trying to do girls trip too and i'm i'm absolutely down for that if everybody's gonna come back i'm talking about everybody i want jada latifah tiffany and regina i'll even take uh i'll even take regina's little assistant her agent the the white girl agent i'll take her have fun on your hashtag black girl magic weekend girl bye Especially if Malcolm D. Lee is coming back because I just feel like he has a really great sense of humor. He does the unexpected by taking this group. When you see a group of black female actors like this, you don't expect the kind of comedy that they go for in this movie because while there is plenty of intellectual humor in the movie, there's also a lot of slapstick and a lot of really over the top goofy moments that are downright cartoony at times, but they really make it work. You know, these actors actors have incredible timing and I think that I think Malcolm D. Lee's vision he just perfectly has what he's going for here and yeah he accomplished it so shout out to him too yeah if you couldn't tell I love girls trip I loved it back then I've watched this movie what like <laughs> probably eight times now and I can't wait to watch it eight more times it's just that fun I will say watch at your own discretion though you know what kind of sense of humor you have you know what kind of comedy works for you if you prefer things that are a little more heady require a little bit more thought if you like more dry satirical humor I don't know if girls trip is gonna do it for you I think you should check it out anyway just because I think everybody should just check out everything I think you should just try something just to see if you like it but if that's more your speed i don't know if girls trip will do it for you i would just say watch the trailer if you watch the trailer and it gets some smiles out of you it gets some chuckles and you like the stars involved then i say you should definitely check it out i really don't think you'll be disappointed i'm gonna give girls trip an a minus
Now, if you guys didn't know, this is a part of my top 80 favorite films of all time. I did a video for that. You could check that out here. But I'm basically re-watching all of these movies and replacing them if they even place on the list at all. Girl Strip is definitely going back on the list, but I can say, I don't think I like it as much as Insidious. That recent time I watched Insidious, I, I, I meant it when I said it in the review. I literally fell in love with the movie all over again. It was almost like I just watched it for the first time. Yeah, I, I, I feel like Girls Trip is hilarious and it has so much that I love about it, but not quite as much as I love about Insidious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Girls Trip below Insidious. It's gonna take that number two spot. I'm sure Insidious is gonna move down eventually, but yeah, tune in next time when we're gonna be covering Incredibles 2. And a couple of updates as well. I have seen Alien Romulus. I've actually seen it twice now and the video Video is on the way trust the video is on the way and also the Deadpool spoiler review it's still coming it's still coming just 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 stay tuned all right and yeah that's all I got for you guys today so make sure you like comment subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later all right take it easy